What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Big Easy Quest. My name's Phil Brown. Uh, today's show, we're going to be pretty much showing you guys um, all the boat ramps, where they're located, best places to catch bait. Um, yeah, pretty much going from there. Um, it's going to be a little different show. It's going to be, uh, I'm going to do, be doing a screen recording. I'm going to show you got be showing you guys exactly where the boat ramps are at by Google Maps. And yeah, that's, that's how we're going to do it. So you can see me, I'm going to go ahead and type on camera here. What's up everybody? So my name is Phil Brown, Big Easy Quest. Um, Looking forward to this year's Sierra Invitational. Uh, basically what we're going to be doing talking today is about where all the boat ramps are for whatever you want to use it for. Um, whether it be bait, fishing, um, the Sierra Invitational, captain's meeting, all that stuff. We're going to cover it all, hopefully within, you know, I'm going to try to keep it under 15 minutes, see how it goes. Um, uh, we're going to go from here. Basically every boat ramp that I talk about along with the video I'm going to put it in order in the comment section for Facebook and then in the description for YouTube I'm going to go and put in the, in the order that I go by each boat ramp I'm going to put the Google pin for the each boat ramp that way you guys can easily go into that just hit copy paste um, it'll be pretty easy for you um, some of these boat ramps I'm going to advise not to use past dark. Um, and the most, most of the majority of the boat ramps are the boat ramps that I haven't had any issues with as far as my trailer goes, as far as spare tires goes, as far as just not, not having any issues and really good boat ramps to where, you know, they're flat all the way through to where you don't have to jackknife your trailer or do any kind of crazy stuff. So, all right. So we're going to start from here. And go straight into Decatur, Alabama. I'm going to pull up the Google Maps. I'm going to go to Decatur, Alabama. We're going to go to Ingalls Harbor. Which is right smack dab. Oh, just about northwest of uh, Decatur, Alabama. So... It's a pretty big boat ramp. Once you come in on 72, um, it's it's a big boat ramp. Like I've I've been there when they had actually a Bass Masters tournament, <clears throat> and uh, there was like three or four hundred boats there. Plus all the vendors were all lined up, so it's it's a pretty big boat ramp. And uh, yeah, you won't be able to miss it at all. So this is also where the Takeoff site is for the CR Invitational, plus the captain's meeting is going to be held in the Ingalls Harbor Pavilion. Um, I'm sure some of you are staying at the Home to Suites by Hilton. I know a couple of guys are. This boat ramp's pretty big. I mean, it's like a, God, I want to say a six to eight lane boat ramp. Um, a lot of you are thinking, oh, 200 boats, that's going to be a lot of boats it'll be able to handle it real easily. Um, the biggest probably issue you're gonna find is, is probably a little bit of parking, but there's this whole section here of the grass, and then there's regular parking, and then there's parking all around here. You can park down in here. So Sea Arc's basically gonna have this whole section all to themselves. So, <clears throat> so basically that's where the takeoff's gonna be. That's where the captain's meeting's gonna be. Um, just to kind of show you, that's going to be the number one Google pin on the on the whole video. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with bait. Um, best places to get bait and what dams, what ramps to go by. Um, we're going to start off with the Safety Harbor, just below the Wilson Dam or Wheeler Dam. And that is located just down below Wheeler Dam. Uh, there's a nice ramp here with the dock. You just blast off right there in that little, uh, oh, I, I don't know what to call it. Just the little opening there takes you out and uh, basically just right down below the dam here. 
basically all that I'm showing the maps is a good, pretty good place to catch skipjack. So if you have trouble finding skipjack, there'll be plenty of uh, bait dealers down there too that'll that'll uh, definitely uh, help you out with all your needs. So, but that's basically that's one good spot to catch skipjack at the uh, it's called the Safety Harbor Harbor Boat Ramp. Uh, right here it says Wilson Lake Boat Ramp. So, but other than that, that's one of them. The other one is down here below Wilson, and that's the Florence, the Wilson Dam. <clears throat> and basically, you want to put in the McFarland, or I believe, yeah, McFarland boat ramp, and then basically come outside of here, come on up the river section here, and uh, yeah, go underneath the bridge. And come up here, find you a nice current seam, catch bait. Now, I, want to, I do want to warn you, there's a lot of shallow water up there. So, um, big boulders, you just want to be careful. So, I'm just showing you all the boat ramps that you can go to to catch bait. Um, another one is right up here, up river. And it'll be at the Gunnersville Dam. It'll be on the north side, the Ferns Branch. I think that's what it's called. Gunnersville Dam boat ramp. <clears throat> it's by Painted Bluff. Uh, it's a pretty good boat ramp. I've used it before. Um, easy to access. You know, there's no huge mountain hills to climb with your boat and truck trailer. You know, it's, sometimes it can be tough pulling these these uh, big boats around. So uh, that seems to be the more user-friendly boat ramp to get to. Uh, never had any issues there. Again, come on up here. Uh, do all your skipjack fishing. Of course, it's not going to be <laughs> as crazy as this um, unless they get a, a bunch of rain. But uh, like I said, find you a good current seam and just go from there. Um, as far as boat ramps to use, that uh, just depends on what you like. Um, the reason why they have the Sea Arc tournament here is not only can it hold a lot of boats, but it Wheeler Leak. We, I mean, Wheeler Lake is kind of a, um, it's, it's, it's a lake that fills everybody's needs as far as river fishermen, as far as lake fishermen. Um, you can come right out of Ingalls Harbor, take a right, and you're up the river section. So all you river guys, that's your baby. Take a right, go up the river um, from Decatur to Gunnersville Dam, I believe, is around 30 to 35 miles. So if you want to go up this river section, you can. Uh, if you want to head south and head to the lake, which is more dragging, you know, baits, kind of what I do. I do a lot of dragging baits. Um, that's more of your lake section. A little bit slower current. Uh, not as much snags. Still quite a few fish. Still a lot of fish up the river section as well. But... Uh, from basically Decatur to Wheeler Dam, you're talking about 30 miles, 30, 32 miles, somewhere in there. Um, <clears throat> so Decatur's kind of in the middle of everything. Um, I've never had any issues at uh, Ingalls Harbor boat ramp. So, I mean, by all means, use that ramp. You know, if you just want to blast off there every time and just boat wherever you want to, that's fine. Um, just be careful when leaving Decatur, just make sure you stay in the channel, you know, because it'll all depend on the depth of water. You get outside the channel and you can get in some pretty shallow water and you don't want to be messing up your lower unit or nothing like that. So, so we're going to go here on different boat ramps to use. So, of course, there's Ingalls Harbor. Um, the number two, or I would say number one boat ramp that I use the most would be the KOA boat ramp um it's actually a gated you got it i mean you've got to pay to use it it's five bucks a day it's like five something a day um i came down here last october went fishing for four days straight i stayed on the boat the whole time every day i would get off take showers at the at the koa ramp <clears throat> and then i would get back on the boat go right back to fishing again um four days straight my truck and trailer never moved never had an issue with you know people messing with my stuff five bucks a day you know what for the peace of mind of not having to worry about your trailer being messed with or or 
spare tires being stolen or anything like that um, this would be my go-to ramp for everything and the good thing about it is it spits you out right at the uh, Browns Ferry um, nuclear plant and that is pretty much I'm gonna say that's pretty much kind of halfway in between uh, Wheeler Dam and Decatur um, and it'll put you about everything like I said you could take a left drag baits drift all you want mud flats some ledges um, if you take a right you're getting more of your river section because even though it does look open there's a couple channels that run through there and they're pretty defined channels so you can you can also also do river fishing up river from uh, the, the nuclear plant as well just it might be a little tough to do when there's no uh, when there's wind so um, that'd be another good ramp uh, plus there's also you know if you want to fish the lower section there's uh, Joe Wheeler State Park boat ramp uh, I've never had any issues there I've heard people getting trailer tires stolen from there so just uh, just you know park wide out in the open um, just make sure you to take a bunch of you know bike uh, bike locks roll them around in your uh, spare tire that way you got to worry about your spare tires getting stolen because nowadays with uh, impact guns it's pretty easy to take that stuff off so um, other than that that's another one that pretty I mean I've never had any issues there Joe Wheeler State Park um, of course the KOA ramp um, let's see here now the one that I've used would be on the north side and that would be the Lucy's Branch Marina. Um, never had any issues with uh, my boat being here at this marina. Or at the boat ramp on the uh, east side of the marina there. Um, one thing that I would suggest is just to be careful when loading your boat. Because that that uh, ramp's kind of at a slant a little bit. So a lot of times, you know, come in on the right side. And then kind of jackknife your trailer a little bit and that will even out your trailer a little bit so it'll be easier to load that's the only ramp that uh seems to be a little bit of you know a little little jackknife you know through throughout the whole you know all the all the marinas that i've used or all the boat ramps that i use but other than that other than being slanted a little bit that's i mean the only issue i found with that ramp that ramp so majority of time we've actually got a koa house over here at the koa so i use mainly use that ramp so um uh, as far as fishing the river section goes um you can use decatur uh like i said it might it's a little bit of a boat ride before you get to your first bend um you're talking all right around oh gosh i'm gonna say probably 15 minutes probably 10 15 minutes to your first bend from decatur to say triana um you can use a lot of the boat ramps up here. One boat ramp that I I would suggest using, I've never had any issues there. It's a pretty good boat ramp would be the Ditto's Landing. Uh, Ditto's Landing will put you halfway, um, basically halfway from Gunnersville Dam to Decatur, Alabama. Um, so if you want to trailer to Ditto's Landing, um, they have gas pumps there as well. So if you decide to motorboat up there, you can fill up gas there as well. Um, there's a lot of good fishing, especially around these hard 90s. Um, so yeah, um, hope, hopefully this helps you guys out. That's all the boat ramps that I've used that I haven't had any issues with. Um, the only kind of jacked up one is a little bit of a slant there at the, uh, the Lucy's Branch. But other than that, it's a pretty good boat ramp. I haven't had any issues with um, all the rest of them are, is, isn't bad safety harbor one down below Wheeler's Dam um, there is good I mean you can go f catch bait there go fishing right on Wilson um, I just personally this is just personally me I would not leave my truck and trailer parked there overnight if you're night fishing some guys do some guys don't have any problem with but some guys you know have had their stuff broken into or stolen stuff like that so um uh 
other than that, uh, yeah, that's, uh, like I said, the KOA ramp's my main boat ramp that I'm going to use besides going to Ingalls Harbor. Um, lots of good places to read there on the, you know, in Decatur. Uh, just got to, I mean, look them up. I've, we've ordered Domino's. They brought it right to the ramp before. You know, we picked it up, paid for it, and then went right back out fishing again. Had had nice warm pizza. Of course, I do carry my grill on the boat as well. So, uh, you know, in case you want to have something different. So other than that, hope this helps you guys out. I know what it feels like. You know, my first time going down there, it was, God, I can't even remember when the last time I was, when, when uh, the first time I was down there, I think we rolled in to, I think it was the Columbus, Mississippi uh, classic for the Cabela's King Cat. And uh, God, if I'm not mistaken, it was 2008 or 2009 is when we went down there. Didn't even know really about Skipjack Herb Adam. Was going to go try to catch him. Uh, of course, didn't know nothing. Back then, there was no Facebook. There was no YouTube. Um, so it was kind of, you know, trial by error, learn as you go. So, but uh, yeah, as far as that, uh, this is why I'm helping you guys out because I know sometimes it's tough to go to a new place and try to figure out where all the ramps are uh, to do what. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Looking forward to the, uh, yeah, to 2021 uh, Sierra Invitational. So uh, we'll be seeing you all there and uh, yeah, have a safe trip and uh, hope you guys catch a hog. See you later.